A dramatic amphibious landing. A U.S. Navy hovercraft glides onto the beach. Troops storm ashore and fire their weapons. This is a NATO landing exercise in Sweden. Further south, soldiers move through trench lines, deploy from helicopters. These are U.S. and NATO troops battle-testing themselves as a possible confrontation with Russia looms in Eastern Europe. My big worry here is the possibility of accident miscalculation when you have military forces operating in close proximity. The Pentagon is considering sending hundreds of tanks, artillery, and other weapons to Vladimir Putin's doorstep, to the Baltic nations, and elsewhere in Eastern Europe. A U.S. defense official tells CNN it'll be enough to outfit a brigade, up to 5,500 troops. The soldiers themselves won't be permanently stationed there, but the official says the equipment will be there to use in these kinds of training exercises. It's prompted a warning from Russia, its foreign ministry saying this could slide into, quote, a new military confrontation with destructive consequences. Putin has just announced he's adding over 40 new ballistic missiles to his nuclear arsenal. If someone threatens some of our territories, we will have to aim our armed forces' modern attack capabilities at those territories which threaten us. What else can we do? As both sides build up their forces, it's putting the region on edge. Given the tempo of Russian military operations over the last year, you have more of those interactions, more possibilities for things to go wrong. Putin's jets have played dangerous Cold War-style games with Western forces recently. One jet flying within 10 feet of a U.S. aircraft. Coming off an escalation of fighting in Ukraine between pro-Russian separatists and Ukrainian forces and Putin's aggressive deployment of weapons into Ukraine, the Baltic countries, NATO allies of the United States, are terrified that Putin will target them next. They have every reason to be concerned that if Russia wants to gobble up some more perceived threats on their flanks, that they would be the first ones attacked. 